Okay, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to cover the topic of manual revision management in ePlan. Uh, there is a, a tool or a module that you can buy with ePlan. Uh, I actually have it, but I tend to prefer using manual revision management. It works better with my workflow. Um, so today, uh, or actually yesterday, I was playing around with something, uh, the new uh, version 2.9. And for some reason, I noticed that there was a feature in there that for whatever reason, I've never paid attention to. And I thought it was kind of cool. And I, the thought occurred to me, it's been a while since I made a video. So here we go. Today's topic is revision, manual revision management. All right, I'll take a few minutes here to explain what it is we're going to do so I don't have to try and do it while we're in the middle of the doing it. All right, so first thing we want to do is create or open a project. You know, nothing you know, earth shattering there. Um, you can do this with an existing project, uh, but make sure you have a backup in case something happens that uh, you didn't want. All right. Next, uh, we'll create a new user-defined property in the project. There's a special place to do this that you may not be familiar with. I'll show you where it is. Uh, we'll assign some preliminary values to the property. This is not uh, necessary, but it is a key part of what I'm showing you today. Uh, we will then edit the plot frame uh, to reference this property so it can display it. And then we'll select or assign a value for the property at the page. All right. Okay, I've got ePlan open and I'll go ahead and create my new project. Uh, project new. I'll give it a name. I'll tell it where I want to put it. I'll select a template. In this case, I'm going to use an EPT that was preloaded. All right. Now, once I have these, I'm going to ignore this. Um, expand my page navigator. Once we have these uh, changes made, we can save that either as a new temp part of the new template or we can export these changes, this property as uh, uh, XML data. All right. So <clears throat> we've got the project open. I'm going to now create a user defined property. The, the uh, these properties are distributed throughout the project. Uh, this is going to be a page property uh, and the tool uh, for that has moved. It's now under project data configure properties uh, and when that uh, when you select that this dialog will appear here we have uh, a diff several ranges of uh, classes of properties um, this will be a page property so I'll select that um, this property I'm going to select user supplemental field one for this demonstration if you have uh, an open project an existing project and that's already used you may have a displayed name here, all right? So that means it's reserved. Uh, check with your CAD admin in your company. Uh, maybe that's, you've got a, a, some of these blocked out, all right? But I'm, gonna, I'm free to use this. I'm going to type in here, in all uppercase, REV. I choose to use uppercase as kind of a, a method f for myself to identify uh, when uh, custom properties have been created, I can identify them just by the format. ePlan uses mixed case uh, for uh, def uh, naming their properties. Uh, so uh, that is a, a visual key. You can help it helps find them in uh, list very quickly. Now down here at input aid, I'm going to switch this from free input to free input with selection list. All right. This gives me the ability to type in data. And it also allows me to select from a list. Now, uh, default value selection list. Now I have to build that list. So I'm going to click on new several times. And my uh, method is I typically use uh, uh, letters to define pre-release uh, revisions. So as I'm designing, uh, 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 editing a design or creating that design, and I'm submitting it to my management for review or my customer for review, we use letters. So I'll go in here and do the old A, B, C, D, right? And then once it's released, we use uh, n numbers. Now, maybe this is different in your organization. Do whatever you like, all right? 
but for the purposes of this demonstration, that's what I'm looking for. So I've got a series of letters and a series of numbers. I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. All right. ePlan's going to say, hey, do you want to save these changes? Yes. Okay. And I'll okay. So what we've done is we've configured our project space to identify this user supplemental field. Now what we want to do is, and we've assigned some preliminary values to that, right? Now what we want to do is edit our plot frame so that we can reference those values. So I'm going to go up to utilities, master data, plot frame, open. I'm going to select these plot frames out of this, uh, uh, the list of available plot frames. You know which ones, uh, you should know which ones you need to edit. And what we want to do is we want to add a property. I'm going to go to the first one of these plot frames. We want to add a, a property in this revision box so that we can access that information and display it. All right. So this right here is just plain text, right? And what I want to do now is add a some smart text that can reference that those properties. So I'm going to go up here to insert special text and this is what's referred to as a page property this has page scope and not project scope right so these are properties that are specific to the instance of the page all right so and i'm going to click on the three dots over here and i'm going to look through this list for user supplemental field one all right and when i go down here i can see that we don't have user supplemental field one anymore it's hidden or renamed or something and if I scroll up here I can see the, the REV that we created in the previous example so what ePlan does is when we name it it renames that property name it gives us an alias right and displays that here along with the other properties so that you can find it like you would any other uh, property right and if I can verify that by Verifying the name down here, ePlan page user supplemental field one, REV. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and OK the selection of that. And I can uh, change the format here. I like to have middle center. All right. You can use whatever you like. OK. And here it comes in on my mouse. I'm going to drop it right in the middle thereabouts. OK. And I've made these changes to the other pages so we can go ahead repeat as necessary I've already updated those I'm gonna go ahead and close these out I'm gonna select them all hit close so this is very important uh, ePlan is telling me that uh, master data was changed these plot frames that are out in the folder in our master data collection ePlan detected that something on those in those plot frames has changed. Do you want to update the open project? What that means is ePlan will copy those changes from the master data that's out in those folders, right? I'll bring that out here. <clears throat> in the plot frame folder are those plot frames. So what ePlan wants to do now is copy the information that was changed here into the project. All right, that's how it works. I'm gonna say yes. All right, so now I'll double click on one of these, actually all three of them. I'm gonna go ahead and assign a uh, page property, right? So I'll right click on all the pages, go to properties, and I wanna, uh, I wanna edit the revision, right? So if you've never added these before, uh, you'll need to add the rev to your property field over here. And I can do that by clicking on new, add a new property, scroll through here until we find rev there it is right there i can again verify that that's the one i want okay it will now appear in the list i can type in free text if i would like if i wish and hit okay and when i do that i'll see that appear automatically down here it's now referencing that data i know it's working if i jump over to one of these other uh, uh, plot frames this one is a two ladder right I can see that it's referencing it there. So now what I want to do is I want to select them all and select Rev A from the drop down list that we created. All right. So I'll just click on here and I'll double left mouse click and I want to visually verify that the text actually loaded. Sometimes you can 
single click on it or partial click on it or whatever and you won't actually see that update and I'll say okay and now I should see my changes on all these pages and I do okay and that's it that's the demo that's the uh, tutorial for today I hope you enjoyed that uh, maybe it uh, gives you some ideas for some other things you can do with that um, that was there last year in 2.8 it's there now in 2.9 for some reason this time when I looked at it a light went off in my head and I said hey it would be nice to have that set up in the you know project template so you at least get going in the right direction right and it, it doesn't limit you you don't have to have every possible combination of text or numerals in there you can still uh, free text it if you like okay or you can lock it down all right so that's it for today um, thanks for coming i'll try to get another uh, video out soon and thanks for subscribing all right bye if you're looking for help with your next e-plan project please contact us here at multilinedesigns.com your independent e-plan specialists